Therefore, it is in the interest of both Iraq and the U.S. to end foreign troop presence in Iraq. The Iraqi parliament voting to expel all U.S. troops from Iraq. This as the U.S. is sending thousands of troops to the region right now. Tensions still rising after a U.S. drone strike killed an Iranian general this week. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefti. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle live at Miramar tonight. And we know that San Diego-based troops right now are protecting the U.S. embassy at this point. Exactly right. There are troops from Miramar, 29 Palms, as well as Camp Pendleton, who are protecting the U.S. Embassy over in Iraq right now, the latest target for Iranian-backed militias. Parts of Baghdad shell-shocked, debris covering the sidewalk after multiple rockets exploded in the green zone near the U.S. Embassy. Well, I think the level of tension is high. Former Navy pilot Jim Kidrick explained the U.S. killed a top Iranian general Friday to prevent an imminent attack on Americans. Uh, without going to war, this surgical attack on the Iranian general was a method to do that. Since the drone hit threats and rockets launched over the weekend, Kidrick says while it looks chaotic, his experience dictates more is happening behind the scenes between top U.S. officials and foreign leaders. Uh, that we would be making every endeavor uh, possible to once again avert further escalation. Overseas, Iran escalated Sunday, saying it will no longer abide by any limits in the 2015 nuclear deal. That limited uranium enrichment and production. Iranian parliament chanting death to America with raised fists. <laughs> Back at home, Kidrick says the next move by the U.S. will hinge on the troops. We're simply in a situation where we want to ensure Americans who are forward deployed are safe. CNN reported that a military advisor to Iran's supreme leader said there will certainly be a military response and they will be targeting U.S. military sites. Reporting live here tonight at MCAS Miramar, Kessie Carlisle, 10 News. Kessie